All right. Hello, everybody. Andrea here. I appreciate you for dropping in to AD Lynn Speaks. Today, I'm going to do this little quick unboxing. And just because I am recording this pre-video intro after I've already recorded the video, I want to warn you that it may sound a little bit negative, and I don't mean for it to sound negative. I am having a little bit of a problem trying to decide whether to go back to my traveler's notebook. I use this cheap old Willa, um, what was this, Webster I got from, I think it was Target. So I'm not going to be uh, making you feel like the Planet Perfect is not as good because that is not comparing apples to apples. I was just comparing it as a different type of um, traveler's notebook. But as it seems, this is Corp Dion, Corp Dion, Corp Diem, Diem, Corp, it's not Webster, my bad. Anyway, um, and I like how this one has all these pockets too, and it's thin, or maybe I just need something cheap. I'm not trying to have well, you know, heavy grain cowhide leather. That adds a lot of weight. So you'll see some of the stuff in here, what I think about it for myself. I think it's perfect for people who really love traveler's notebooks, but I think because I may have made an emotional purchase, I think this is not going to work for me, which is why I want to, uh, you know, let you guys know the unboxing. You see it. It's the red one. It looks a lot more vibrant on the computer. Of course, you can't control things. I mean, my skin tone right now probably looks all thrown off on this phone anyway. That's what I'm looking at here. Uh, so I'm going to stick with my rings. I love using rings. I guess I was having a moment. <laughs> um, so I'll just use a little notebook to keep carrying a little notebook with me when I go places if I can't carry my whole rings book. So that's what I wanted to tell you. So hopefully you enjoyed this little review. Thank you for dropping in to my channel. I appreciate you for coming by, listening to me. I am going to sell this. If you are interested, then let me know and I will uh, get in contact with you through email or you can email me at Andrea at SoulToFit.com or you could go ahead and instead of just putting a comment, just send me a DM on Instagram at uh, AD Lynn Speaks and we'll work out something for us to exchange this if you want to purchase it. Okay. <sighs> All right. See y'all. Talk to you later. Thank you for dropping in. Bye. All right, hello everybody. This is Andrea. Thank you for joining me. My own hands and all that. It's not all pretty and everything like most of you guys are. Maybe if I put some ribbon or something around here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to worry about all that. Let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? So I am just going to use a pencil to open this up. This is the first time I've ever gotten Planner Perfect. I've been looking at uh plan of perfect for a while uh currently i use the franklin covey and i'm pretty happy with my franklin covey except um i also like a traveler's notebook so anyway i don't know which one i want as far as the size and everything is concerned i do a lot of videos on my youtube channel because you would think that's all i do but i do have my separate sections for personal and family and uh finance so i have separate sections for that i have separate sections for my business and then usually in the middle i have all of my monthly calendars which i do keep personal stuff in there time dates and notes and to
let's keep going so i'm going to start out with this one here because this one seems like more fun we're going to open this well i'll open this one first <laughs> i don't know which one to open all right let's open up the notebook you know what i should have brought my uh something to compare this up here with uh first of all it's got the stitching on the side and what is all this all that all right for a notebook omg i'm sorry y'all it's got thick paper it feels like um oh wow i don't know paper very well but it's got a really high gsm and it's got it looks like it was handmade really to be honest with you let's see here so uh, from what I'm looking at, the reason it's printed like this is so that it will have these two pages here and then you got the one in the middle and then you got the next one. So it's always going to have, uh, let's see, this page, this is the center. I mean, I don't know guys, this is hand stitched or is it sewing machine stitched? I like the idea of the cover and stuff but let me i'm just gonna be honest with you guys look this right here is not worth 25 dollars a month this is not worth to me oh my god i hate to use those words worth it's so derogatory I, <laughs> it's for 2020 so it's the whole year 2020 to two you know for the entire year so i guess since it's for a whole year that would be okay and you know i did get the lined pages i don't know what to say i am so not impressed i'm sorry I'm not impressed. I spent a lot of money on this stuff. And I am so not impressed at all. But that's okay. It's a beautiful book on the outside. So let's go ahead. I'm so sorry. I don't want to sound bad. I don't want to sound negative. But let's look at the this notebook. Okay. Now, this is what I really wanted. This was the item of my choice. This is what I really wanted. Okay, this is... Ooh, it smells good. Ooh. These some... These, um... Now, I have had a traveler's notebook before. So, I'm not new to traveler's notebooks. I'm just new to Planner Perfect. And she was saying that she tries to hide these big loops and stuff. Well, they're not hidden because they take up and they, they really... Look, did I get this thing to tear it apart? I don't like this. Already, I don't like this. I'm going to ask if any of you want this, you can buy it from me like right now. Um, I'm going to put this, this... These knots... These knots are not hidden. They're too big. They're bulky. This is some big elastic. Maybe that's a good thing. It's for the elastic to be really big. So let's go ahead. See here. Where would I put this one? Uh, I guess I'd put this one in the front. Oh, look. A notepad. Wow, this paper is fancy. This is some thick paper. But why would it have planner perfect on everything? I want so to fit. <laughs> I don't want planner perfect taking up all this space. Maybe it should have just been this little flower and nothing else. This bothers me. It's already planner perfect here. It's already planner perfect. I mean, Franklin Covey does not put this up here. They don't keep putting everything up here to where you can't even turn the page and you get a new planner perfect, planner perfect. Okay, so let's keep on going. All right, so that's that. All right. This is really thick leather. It's so many different layers. That's probably because it has this inside. It had this one here. 
I mean, this really does feel like cowhide. It's made in Mexico. So I guess, I guess that's how you keep it cheap. This costs uh, quite a bit of money. So you gotta keep things cheap. This is a little bit crooked right here. I don't like my pen loop crooked. This is crooked. I see the glue. Let me put my pen in it. Let's see. Okay, this here, it won't fit that too well. Ugh. And I'm moving things around. Can't get my pen in there. I use a regular pen. That pen I use all the time. This one is hard to get into as well. It's too thick. See this leather? This is cowhide. True cowhide. Could have been beat a little bit more to thin these layers out. She said they were painted or dyed on the edges. Um... This thread is different color from this thread. It's like they use two different, three, two different color threads. Oh no, why is the thread color different? Maybe it's a different way you look at it. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go get my other traveler's notebook to put the other notebooks in here and see how it works, how it looks. It has the stitch notebook and I love these they come three three of them come in a pack so I use them a lot these are all for my designing fashion class and stuff like that that I just write notes in I feel more inclined to use these notebooks better than to use a $25 per month notebook or journal I don't need it to be super thick I'm not gonna be painting in it or anything like that so this is exactly the same size as these here I mean literally except just not as thick well Piccadilly is kind of thick comparatively speaking so let's go with apples to apples that's that's plan of perfect this is Piccadilly brand new and then this is me using it and it's softer <laughs> and it feels the the reason i pulled out piccadilly is because i wanted to take a look at the difference here in this car stock oh my goodness this car stock is to die for on both of them i took the inside out i didn't like that but this here is feels so good on me it feels so soft and so smooth this feels like canvas here hers feels like canvas the only thing i don't like is this big giant elastic why let me put my piccadilly in or these notebooks that i have oh and another one i like to use is this one here let's see this is another one i like to use this here is the molier uh moleskin collier and it has this little thing in the back here okay so it's the same size as the Piccadilly. So all of them, well, actually, it's a little bit different. Just a tad bit, a quarter, eighth of an inch difference. But it's never been a big deal for me. I've never really made a big deal out of it. This this here, Corp Dion, uh, Corp Dion, Corp Dion paper, I don't really care. I don't use these. These are too little. I, I wear these out so quick. This, but this is the idea of the Piccadilly, same size. Here's one again. So all of these sizes are the same. 
the planner perfect same size except hers is about a quarter of an inch taller eighth of an inch taller okay but uh it just looks like paper been folded over that's all it looks like it looks like the paper has been folded over and cut because it won't i don't like stuff that <laughs> i don't like stuff that doesn't stay closed i wonder if i can return this i kind of want to return it so anyway that's that um now i'm not going to compare a little 16 dollar wallet you know i'm not going to talk bad about a 16 compare a 16 dollar wallet with a top grain leather so let's just look at the size so yeah this here is going to make it stay thick this is nice and curved over so but it's the same exact size so let's open it up completely and lay it flat I'm just comparing it because this is what I like to use and I was hoping to find something to look prettier Okay. All right. There. So it's a little bit bigger. And it's really not bigger, kind of. I think the binding in the middle is the only thing that makes it bigger. Because when you look at the amount of space it has in the middle it ha it's about half an inch an inch bigger completely because here's the center and it's a half inch bigger so now let's go ahead and put my books in it i got this because it's a whole year so then i'll go ahead and put this first because this be like my dash where everything for the whole year starts and my plans and everything and i do all that then I'll have my YouTube book or my notebook for uh, dates, like a monthly calendar or more like weekly. Then I have my weekly. Then of course, this is my design book, okay? So I'll put my, my design book in here. I usually put my design book at the back, okay? Then I'll put my household book because I try to have mine set up into different uh roles in my home how what kind of roles i serve <laughs> so i guess i could put a couple of more if i had planner perfect books i think this would be too thick it, it feels heavy <laughs> no this feels too heavy oh wee this feels heavy good lord that feels as heavy as this right here and i haven't even put anything in here is it my hand? Is my hand tired? Ooh. You know, I don't think it's any different carrying a ring binder. This is heavy. I'm not going to lie. Nobody's going, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that this is not heavier. I mean, look what I have in here. Come on, man. You know, I'm not going to lie to you on that one. I just feel like I, I got more I can't put this in my purse I can't make it smaller I have smaller books I can use but to get everything that I have in here and keep it parsed like if I'm only going to be using just the dates here with the months and then I have these two pages in between each month it to me it's uh, well let's see so I have a month. Let's say we got July here. So I have a month on the front here. Then I have the, the spread. Then I have this section here. Then I have another one for the next month. So I don't know how hers is. Let's look at that again. So we have one month. See, that's too close to the beginning anyway. I don't like that. She should have had extra pages. So anyway, you have November, then you have the back of November. So basically, I don't have the front of November like I'm used to. Like in here, I'm used to having the front of a month and the end of the month. 
So I have the front of the mont and the end of the mont. So the back side and the front side of each mont. I don't, and then I, then I have, if I can put extra pages in there, I can do that between each mont. So she has the mont starting out, there's nothing in the beginning to preface or start your month with. Then it goes right into the month, and then you have that afterwards. So to me, my mind works with starting the month out with some notes, some encouragement, where I'm gonna head for that month, what I'm looking forward to doing for that month. And then all the pages after that is what what has happened, what I'm needing, what I have done, and so on. So these two pages would be for that month. Then this one here would be getting ready for the next month and going into December. Whereas it's actually the way hers is set up is you go to, to the month, you write all your stuff in, and then you use the pages in between to do whatever you're gonna do with that. Um, as far as all of my roles are concerned, so if I'm only on page 10 right here, then I'm still carrying this whole notebook around while I'm maybe, it's, I'm on the end over here, whereas in this book here, I can carry monthly October, I have October, and I have November and December. Well, because I would use weekly, it's that's why it's like that. Since I use weekly, it's okay. Yeah, this here. Now I take one of these out and I pull them out of the notebook and I put them in the section that I'm working for that week or that, that section for that um, business I'm working on for that particular time. So that way I move it to that section when I'm working on it. When I'm done with it, then I move to the next one. Whereas I move and parse this information to a whole nother file when I'm done. If when I originally was using the uh, mole scheme as a bullet journal, I liked having everything together in one book. When I started using these separate books, I began to the point where it was like, okay, so I have all this information here, right here, right here, and then boom, it's over and I'm done with this book and it's getting too heavy to continue carrying. You know, it just started getting too heavy to continue carrying. So I end up wasting books because I'm done with that book with 10 or 15 pages left to go. With the same thing here, I think I would end up doing this, having the same problem. Um, so what I would like to do, I think what I would like to do is go ahead and ask for uh, to sell this or to uh, to return it if I can do that because I think that I can sell this pretty easy since I just got it and you guys are seeing me unboxing it. <laughs> Because it's not something that's going to work for my... And I, I shouldn't have ordered it. It's just... I think I ordered it on the emotional whim. And that's not good either. But, oh well. So, this is going to go back into their, their binders and folders and baggies. And uh, to be returned or to be sold. So, I'll just... You know, just lay this here and hopefully somebody will see this. Okay. So then we got that one.
okay that's it it's for sale thank you guys for coming and watching <laughs> sorry that this was not for me okay moving on <laughs>